Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today for month two of our Brightly Sampler Sew Along from our Family Favorites quilt book. I'm super excited because for this month's video, I actually have the quilt back and I can show you quite a few more things. So I'm really excited to dive into all things for the sew along and also give you a little bit of a um, kind of a preview about what I'll be doing next month that will be a little bit different. Before I get started, I just want to say Happy Thanksgiving to all of you celebrating that here in the United States. It's a, it's a big deal here and we're very excited to have our Thanksgiving dinner with our family. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First though, I do have a message from our a Quilting Life sponsor, Cozy Earth. It is the holiday season, and so Cozy Earth normally just uh, sponsors our podcasts, but they are going to sponsor a few additional videos leading right up to the holidays. So I'm super excited today to talk to you about the Fount Society products. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the body butter. That's the first product I started using from Fount Society, and it is a luxurious body butter. It comes in these large tubs. I'm actually gonna open it up and show you. I love it. It, it is, has a fresh, clean scent, but it's not overwhelming. My, my husband actually gets migraines if something is too fragrant, and so this is a perfect product. It's, we have very dry weather here where I live, and I have absolutely loved the way this body butter works because it actually seems to work throughout the entire day and not just when you put it on. A newer product that I've been using from them is the Fount Society Water Cream, and it is a moisturizer. I love using this during the day. It is just a, a very good daytime moisturizer for me. My skin is extremely dry. Chelsea actually uses it at nighttime. Her skin's not as dry. But just a few words about this. These products are wonderful, clean products. They are plant-derived. They are vegan. They are paraben-free and cruelty-free. And I have actually loved using them for really, the, with the body butter, almost a year now and the moisturizer several months. Head to the description below. You can find out more information about the Fount Society products and you can also find the links and the codes to use to get our discount. Okay, super excited today because as you can see, I got the quilt back. So I'm able to share with you all the details about the Laguna Sunrise fabrics. I know that I received a couple emails and because a little bit of confusion because I'm Chelsea and I are both sewing with Raspberry Summer and the quilt is in Laguna Sunrise. So I'm so happy it arrived home right before I left for Quilt Market and I actually just took it out of the bag this morning. I think we'll move to the down shot now and I will show you my blocks for this month, Chelsea's blocks for this month, and then I'll move and show you all of the blocks on the actual quilt. Okay, just want to mention a couple things. Last month I did mention that you could head over and get the fabric requirements. I didn't show them to you. I, I thought I should show you today. So it's a three page document that you can print off and there's a link in the description and there is a full color image on the front of our original quilt and also you will then find a well let me first show you the fabric requirements are listed down here and then on the back of the first page is a coloring page and those are super super helpful so you can especially if you're using a different fabric collection you can kind of color in where you think you're gonna, or, or once you make your blocks, and then you can help you in planning and placement. So these are super, super helpful. And then page three of that PDF file is this schedule. So we've already done October 24th, make two album mosaic blocks, and here we are November 28th, two more album mosaic blocks. So we'll be back on December 26th. Okay, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So these are Chelsea's blocks from last month that I already shared. And again, this is Raspberry Summer fabric that will be available in February, but I will be showing you our Laguna Sunrise blocks on the quilt. And this is Chelsea's other block. And these are my two blocks from last month. Now, Chelsea did two 
navy outer borders last time with the red and the pink. This time she went with a red and she brought in some of the teal and then she did another navy with that same red gingham. So she's got a nice little mix of reds, navies, uh, uh, pinks, and teals. So I was trying to keep everything in my brain so I wouldn't, so I did last time the green outer and the red center. So this time I reversed it and I did red outer and green centers. So just kind of as a way for me to kind of ensure that I'm getting a proper mix of the reds and the greens on the outsides and the insides because I'm not really gonna bring in any other colors other than the reds and the greens. Okay, let me move the blocks and then let's look at the blocks on the quilt. I so, so wish I had been able to share that last month. Let's see. Well, we've got one right here. So Laguna Sunrise, the lar this is the large floral in coral and the center is the small gray and then the little pinwheels in the middle. And then let me slide this one over. And so that's the red X's and this dainty floral print there with the orchid large floral. And then we've got one right here and the gray on the outer and the large floral on white there and the large floral on teal right there. And then there is one more right here. <laughs> and so we did the aqua and the large red. And then in here, it's just the, the little flowers with the dots. So I know this is going to be so much more helpful for you because so many of you are sewing with Laguna Sunrise. And I will be sure and do that every single month. And go through the blocks that we're making and what fabrics exactly I used. Because I, I know I have even gotten some emails that say that it is even a little bit hard to tell in the book. So it's going to be great to have the quilt here. I'll, I'll actually get it ironed before we <laughs> look at it next month. But anyway, uh, enjoy making the, those two blocks. And next month, the day after Christmas, we'll be back and I'll have all of my tips for you for the fancy block. Okay, so that's it for month two of the Brightly Sampler Sew Along with our family favorites quilt book. We are so excited to be sewing along with you. I've seen some comments and heard some things from some people who are so grateful to have kind of a, a low key sew along with just two blocks a month. It's, it's been great to see that and it's been great for us too. So really excited. Next month will be a new block and I will also have a tutorial next month. So this month was just sort of a simple square and a square with some strip piecing. But next month I will actually kind of show you what I do to make it easier to put those blocks together. It's another easy, simple, fun block, but I have a couple things to, that I'll share with you with that. Okay, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share it with a friend. Thank you so much for stopping by.